Hello. Well, today I wanted to talk about a movie that uh, I hadn't seen in uh, quite some time. Um, it's one of those films that is uh, very beloved. It's uh, 60 years old this year, and uh, it has a huge ensemble cast, which I will really list off the names. Uh, <clears throat> uh, at various points, probably early in the video, but anyway, the movie is, it's a mad, 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 mad world. Now, this version has, uh, two releases. The, uh, standard general release, which is 163 minutes, or two hours and, uh, 43 minutes, as well as the, uh, 197 minute extended version, which, um, has been restored as best as it could be. However, uh, some of the audio is very bad. Like it's just, it was stored improperly or just stored where it just wasn't the greatest anymore. And so the sound is pretty bad. Um, and so they have subtitles up. Uh, that way you can, you know what's being said, even when uh, obviously you can't hear it. Um, and I've seen that before. Um, Rewatching this again, I did not rewatch that because, well, I kind of wanted to watch the version that I'm used to. Um, this film is directed by Stanley Kramer, who primarily uh, is more familiar with dramas like uh, Judgment at Nuremberg. Um, that's a big one he's known for. Um, He did one with uh, uh, Spencer Tracy. Um, oh, the name is just escaping me now, and I I just saw it earlier, but yeah, yeah, I, it will come to me later, probably right after this video, and so I will pr uh, probably feel incredibly stupid for it not even being in my mind anymore. I literally looked up some of the other movies because I've seen various uh, films of his before and the one with Spencer Tracy and Frederick March is completely blanking right now. So it's best I don't even focus on that because well then I'll go completely off track. Um, but Spencer Tracy is in this film. Plays a uh, captain, a police captain. Uh, tracking down all these guys who are uh, looking for uh, a big, uh, like a bunch of money after uh, somebody was driving down the highway or one of those roads that's like long cliffs and they uh, drove off and he ran uh, um ran his car off the road and a bunch of guys who saw it happen went down to see what's going on and he tells them there's all this money and they can find it at this specific place and uh, it's under a big W and so you know police get there because well, he was a basically a fugitive <laughs> and uh He's racing there to get to uh, get the money, and so he, uh, uh, so uh, police radio all that in, and they uh, go, and uh, and then this begins this whole basically this big uh, hunt for this money, just the race to get there, and the various ways of people going in airplanes and cars and all. All sorts of things just ensue, like a lot of mayhem. And um, Spencer Tracy's character, his pension, is uh, very bad. And he, uh, you know, as the film goes on, he's kind of wanting to... Uh, the idea of getting the money himself seems pretty good. And uh, so, uh, yeah, there, there's just so much goes on. And, uh, and also, Spencer Tracy's character's life uh 
Yeah, his wife's divo- uh, seems to wanting to divorce him, and his daughter's not happy, and so yeah, a lot of a lot is going on, and uh, yeah, this has uh, five discs for this Criterion set. I used this earlier some time ago for a demonstration of uh, in terms of packaging for the Citizen Kane film. Uh, or version of cri- that Criterion has, as this is a better version in terms of packaging for something like that. But yeah, the, overall, that's the gist. It's a big like a uh, race for money, and as the, as the film goes on, more and more people find out or, or get involved one way or another, and so all these people are trying to get the money. Um, and there's all kinds of cameos for people, you know. So Spencer Tracy is, of course, in this film. It also is Milton Berle, uh, Sid Caesar, Ethel Merman, uh, Mickey Rooney, Jonathan Winters. Um, uh, Buddy Hackett, uh, Dick Sean, Phil Silvers, Terry Thomas, uh, as well as uh, Edie Adams, Dorothy... Uh, Provine, Eddie Rochester <laughs> Anderson, Jim Backus, Ben Blue, uh, Joey Brown, Alan Carney, uh, Barry Chase, uh, William Demerst, Andy De- Devine, Peter Falk, uh, Norman Fell, Uh, Paul Ford, starting Holloway, Edward Everett Horton, uh, Marvin Kaplan, Buster Keaton, Don Knotts, Charles McGraw, Zizou Pitts, Carl Reiner, Madeleine Rue, Arnold Stang, The Three Stooges, uh, Jesse White, and a bunch of others, including people uh, also... Uh, Jimmy Duran um, and there's a lot of people um, like even like Jerry Lewis is in the beginning of the film um, but yeah this uh, this set if you haven't gotten it is really cool unfortunately mine's sort of kind of beat up I don't know if you could see it too well here but yeah, right there I used to have it stacked um like on the, one of the bottom shelves here. And uh, unfortunately, the, I, I try to have some sort of system which didn't work out too well, but I, you know, changed the stuff and rearranged things and have another shelf over there, but kind of had it like this with others and just kept kind of falling over. And unfortunately, I tried to move it, but then, you know, things kind of kept falling. So unfortunately, there's, I mean, not too much damage, you know, all the discs and everything are fine, but that's just kind of unfortunate, but, you know, I guess, I guess you could say sort of wear and tear to an extent, but, yeah, not too bad, um, but, yeah, um, uh, yeah, this is just, uh, uh, so this is the these are the discs these are the three DVDs and there's the two blu-ray discs you know each disc each of the blu-ray discs have the film the first disc has the uh, well the first discs of the DVDs and the blu-ray has uh, you know uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, has the general release, so the shorter version of the film, and then the second discs of the DVD and the Blu-ray, uh, they have the three-hour version of the film, and then the third disc is all the other uh, special features that the first two discs, or the first two DVDs couldn't hold, whereas all the special features are put across on uh, the f- uh, first two uh 
but yeah, the, on the two Blu-ray discs. Uh, anyway, uh, so this kind of just gives a general like all the discs and stuff. But uh, yeah, here's a lot of that stuff. Here, you know, there's the money running away from all these people, and uh, there's of course Spencer Tracy and yeah. It's, there's just so many people who are very famous around this time. Um, it's just hilarious to see so many of these people who were huge and then how um, just as time goes on, you know, they're all remembered for something in particular. Don Knotts, of course, is big for uh, the Andy Griffith show, uh, for instance. Three Stooges are just well known they're the three stooges no need to though it has a curly joe if i recall correctly that's what it looked like in the film because you know this was 63 when this came out so it'd been like 62 or so um but yeah um and with this criteria thing here is or this set got a little map of all the stuff going on throughout the movie and a legend uh 17 different ways you know discussion just all the various stuff that uh all these guys go through all these people go through from uh the various locations to get to where they end up by the end of the movie um yeah it's just this is just, just a hilarious film Honestly, there's not much more to say if you haven't seen it, so I, uh... Oh, here's the dude at the very beginning of the film, uh... Who, uh, literally kicks the can. So, uh... Uh, Jack... Jack Benny. Yeah, he was in this. He's a man driving in the desert. Uh... Man driving overhead, Cherry Lewis. Um... Yeah, this is just hilarious. I could, I don't know. There's just so much one can say about this, but I know there are people who uh, look at my channel and they don't, haven't seen many of these films, so I don't want to totally spoil it. But, you know, the overall uh, gist of the film is that it's just like a big kind of like scavenger hunt from the moment they all find out about this money that somebody has a uh, stashed away and they all have to race for it because trying to figure out a fair way uh to split everything just doesn't really work you know people get upset because like oh i'm getting shortchanged because you know uh, like there's you know i'm only one person and this people go they have three or they have two or you know <laughs> the initial people who are there at the scene you know, they all are like, we need to have uh, all of this and that. And then, like, we're going to try to split it up fairly. And yet, it's just not fair to some people. So, as the movie goes on, more and more people know about it. And then they just want to try and get it for themselves. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, I think it's one that is definitely worth a watch. Um, I don't know if it's streaming on the Criterion channel. I, I would kind of imagine it would be, but whether or not it is, I don't know. That's a kind of a different story. But, yeah. This is hilarious. A lot of the special features, like the, you know, the making of it, like, uh, they have a, uh, they have a whole bunch of, uh, like look backs with uh, some of the cast and uh, crew members uh, from like a, this. This release is from 2014. I believe there is something for like 2012. Yeah, the last 70 millimeter film festival. You know, it has a as the 
surviving. It's a mad, 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 mad world cast and crew. It was hosted by Billy Crystal. And that's a really good, uh, that's a really cool, uh, uh, little, uh, awesome, uh, sort of like discussion overall. Um, and there's also a two part episode, uh, a 1963 episode of the TV show Telescope, where it follows the press junket and the premiere. So much of this is, uh, uh, amazing. I just, uh, I love it. It's hilarious. It's amazing. Um, you know, not much more to say, really. Uh, everybody in this movie does a great job. Uh, it's really cool to see, uh, Stanley Kramer, who's best known for doing dramatic work, do a comedy. You know, it really shows that he could do something outside of, uh, you know, comfort zone, which is primarily, obviously, drama. And it's, uh, oh, he also made the Defiant ones with Sidney Poitier. That's another movie he did. Um, and he apparently produced, uh, the, uh, known at the Searchers, um, I knew. He produced that film. Didn't get credit, though, but apparently he had a good hand in getting that movie off the ground. But yeah, everything about this is pretty amazing it's hilarious um <clears throat> if you do find this on uh, streaming it'll probably be the shorter version so 163 minutes so don't worry you won't have to spend uh three hours though even though the even the shorter version there is still like the music at the very beginning with like black though it has the full song of it's a mad 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 world so if anything it's kind of worth just to hear the song and then you'll hear the instrumental when the opening credits play and then there's an intermission with music and then once it says the end you then get to hear more music uh, yeah it's just it's one of those old uh, kind of old films that's long and so this is what you know you get to hear uh, in terms of like music at the beginning in the middle for the intermission and then after the whole film's over it's really cool. I love films like this. Uh, Lengths of the films do not matter all that much to me. Um, in terms of like if it's over three hours, cool. As long as the movie is consistently uh, great, engaging, entertaining, what have you. I don't care if the film is three hours or four hours. I only care as if, if the film is that long or amongst that sort of runtime, and you definitely feel the, the the length. If you feel the length, that's a bad sign. The movie should never feel very long. To me, this film goes by pretty fast. It's very entertaining. It's it's very funny. I think it's hilarious, but again, some again humor is very probably the most subjective thing of all uh, of entertainment. It's you know. You know, humor. Everyone's sense of humor is different. I love this film. I think it's fantastic. It won an Academy Award for Best Sound, um, I believe. Didn't win anything else. I think it should have at least won original song for Be It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. I would think so, but, you know, what do I know? Uh, anyway, this is an excellent film. It's one that's worth watching, and it's one worth talking about. This isn't like, you know, The Last Detail, which I talked about last week, you know. This is a film that is pretty much talked about quite a bit. It's beloved by a lot of people, so while maybe if you haven't seen this movie, you might have heard about it, maybe not, but uh, this definitely has a very long-lasting legacy, and I think it's a film that is definitely worth... Uh, watching if you haven't seen it at least watch once whether it's for you or not that be obviously to be determined but i enjoy it i think it's great um and i've heard and i know that this film has been on dvd and, and various cuts sometimes shorter than the 163 minute version here but it kind of goes up and down um 
I guess for whatever reason, like some versions are just shorter. I don't know why. But anyway, that's my thoughts on this. It's an excellent movie. If you've seen this film, what do you think? Do you enjoy it? Do you not? Uh, yeah, why or why not? You can uh, leave a comment if you want, or you don't. You can do whatever you want. So yeah, with that, I will uh, leave you. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great weekend. Hope your week has been good. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.